Now we can do a problem that almost half of the people got wrong when they took it on an official GRE test. We're asked, of the 750 participants in a professional meeting, 450 are female and one half of the female and one quarter of the male participants are less than 30 years old. If one of the participants will be randomly selected to receive a prize, what is the probability that the person selected will be less than 30 years old? The first thing we have to recognize is that we're dealing with two totally unrelated facts. Whether or not the participants are male or female, and whether or not they're less than 30 years old, or equal or greater than 30 years old. So we create a little 2 by 2 box. But before we find the right fraction, we can find the wrong fractions that half the people picked. Some of the people just multiplied 1 half times 1 fourth, and they got 1 eighth, and they picked answer A. And other people added 1 half and 1 fourth and got 3 fourths, and they picked answer E. And still other people took a half and a fourth and averaged them and got a third, and they pick answer B. So it looks like our right answer is either C, 3 eighths, or D, 2 fifths. So now we can get started breaking down the problem. We're not just being asked for the number, we're being asked for the probability that they will be selected. And the nerds know as soon as they put the word probability into a question, it becomes harder because people get scared. But as we can see from the answer, they're just fractions. And what we're looking for is we're looking for the part of the box that tells us the number of participants who are under 30 years old. We're told that there are 750 participants, so we can put that in the total box on the upper right-hand corner. Then there are 450 female participants, so there must be 300 male participants. And then half of the female participants are less than 30, so that's 225, and that means the other half equal to or greater than 30, and that's 225. And now a quarter of the males are less than 30, and there are 300 males, so a quarter of that would be 75, and then 225 are equal to or greater than 30. So now we have our totals. There are 225 females and 75 males that are under 30, so there's a total of 300 under 30. But we're not looking for a total, we're looking for a probability. And so the probability is 300 chances out of a total of 750 chances, which is the same as 30 out of 75, which is the same as 6 out of 15, which is the same as 2 out of 5, which means our answer is D. We should have been able to choose between C and D because of the denominators. The nerds give us easy numbers, and 8 doesn't divide evenly in the 750, so that doesn't look like that could be the denominator, but 5 easily divides into 750, and so that's why we had such an easy answer, even though almost half the people on the GRE couldn't find it. It's answer D. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985. No one makes things easier.